Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character looking into is the Swappamall. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just say that this isn't necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. Nor is this definitive of what is actually going to happen in Chapter 3. We don't know what's going to happen in Chapter 3, nor does anybody. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a cool creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. Lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of the Swappamall. So in our last video, our main protagonist had another encounter with the savage Bunzo Bunny. They encountered them inside the musical instrument production area of the factory. With some help from the friendly Kissy Missy, they were able to escape the clutches of Bunzo's banging cymbals. After damaging Bunzo again and again, they finally dealt the last killing blow. After they pushed the burnt Bunzo off the conveyor belt, our protagonist travels solo with our Kissy Missy to the next area of the factory. And this new area belongs to the Swapmalls line of toys. The Swapmalls were a certain line of toys that could have their body parts interchanged with each other. Some may not know this, but PJ Pugapilla and Cat Bee were in fact part of this toy line. Also in this range was a number of toys we've seen in the past from our older videos. Some of the toys from the prehistoric Pals playset were compatible with the Swapmalls as well. Also included in this line of toys were some prototype characters that never made it into full production. With the Swapmalls range of toys, the possibilities were endless. Kids could mix and match and make whatever variations they wanted. So when it came to the kind of creature our protagonist might encounter, that too could be any possibility. So as the player roams around this section of the factory, they notice a whole bunch of different toy parts moving around the factory. Multiple robotic arms were assembling and disassembling all of these toy pieces. Just as the player turns around in the other direction, out of nowhere one of the robotic arms grabs their green grab pack hand and replaces it with one of the toy pieces. The player watches as their green hand moves along with the other toy parts. What are they going to do now with this toy hand? It's useless. They can't extend or use this at all. They watch as the green hand enters another room. And just the player's luck, the door is locked tight. The exit doors in this area are powered by the green grab hand. If they were ever going to get out of this place, they need to get that grab hand back. So the player sets out and tries to find the key to this locked door. Hopefully it wasn't too far. As they walk down one of the corridors, they come across an underground basement area. This area looked cold and abandoned. Apart from all the other places that they've searched, this has to be the place where the key was hiding. After searching around, they finally come across the key. It was just hanging up on the wall, but it seemed too easy. As the player approached the key, they were correct. Out of a hole in the wall emerged a strange looking enemy. It was a large mess of multiple different toys. They included the head of PJ, the body of Cat B, and multiple other parts from the other swap malls. It was as if this creature was the original Swapamool itself. The creature chases after the player as they desperately try to make it back to the surface. The way they originally came through has now been blocked off with fallen rubble. The player needs to take another route in order to get away from this abomination of a creature. The player needs to swing through a number of ledges until they can safely get away from the Swapamool. The Swapamool easily clears these ledges in a single bound. The player continues to frantically swing away as they finally lose the creature. They quickly enter another room and hide away from the Swapamall. What were they going to do? They were still stuck in this subterranean basement area. On this floor was an elevator that they could take back up to the Swapamall factory. But what use was it if they couldn't get the key to the room their green hand was in? They need to make it back to where the key was. But surely that creature would be lurking around. While our protagonist thinks about a plan, they soon realise what room they're in. All around them are spare parts for other toys. The one part that catches their eye is the comically large toy rocket blaster. It fires a toy rocket with a spring-loaded mechanism. They wondered if it was compatible with their grab pack. Lo and behold, it snapped on and it was ready to fire. They certainly wouldn't be able to kill the Swapamool, but maybe it could distract them long enough. The player swings back to the key area and keeps an eye out for the Swapamool. Just as they approach the key, the horrible creature emerges once again. The player quickly fires the rocket as it knocks PJ's head clean off. Their body frantically searches for their head to reattach it. 
This was the moment they could finally grab the key. The player grabs it and quickly makes it back to the elevator. They hop in and arrive back on the upper level. Finally, they can use the key to enter the room. And right there in front of them was the green hand dangling from the robotic hands. They grab it with their left hand and reattach it. Now they were all set to activate the exit door and make their way out of here. The player kept the rocket blaster on hand just in case. They could easily swap it out if they needed to defend themselves. As they enter back into the main area, they notice the elevator has been damaged. It looks like something large has broken through it. The swap mall has to be lurking around here somewhere. Wherever it was, the player would be ready for them. As the player approached the exit door, the swap mall burst out of nowhere and swipes at them. The player fires at their head with the rocket blaster but the creature quickly bats it away with their plastic crab claw. It seems that they now know to defend themselves against the toy rocket. The player needs to get rid of those limbs. They come up with the idea to lure them over to the robotic grab arms. Maybe that will dismember them and give the player enough time to open up the exit. Regardless, the player was out of options. So the player needs to lure them over to the disassembly station. They need to be careful not to let the swap mall get too close or else it'll be the end of them. Once they've got them in the right position, they activate the switch and the robotic arms pull them apart piece by piece. The player has finally bested this mishmash of a creature. It was finally safe for them to reach the exit and make their way through. As they left this area, they prepared themselves for whatever challenge they had to face next. So, I think the idea of a swap more character would be really interesting to see in Chapter 3. There could be endless possibilities and also some reappearing characters as well. This character could be quite formidable and hard to take down considering they can build themselves again piece by piece. But regardless if Chapter 3 does include the swap more range of toys, we'll have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of the Swap Mall and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of our Chapter 3 Character Concept Series, until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.